Hey House Pan friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going into Edwards Greenhouse and I'm gonna show you around. I haven't been here in probably a month and a half. Hey, time traveling, Ashley here. I just wanted to let you guys know I do have a Patreon in case you didn't see yesterday's video. You can totally support me through that. That is the best way to support my channel. So if you wanna check out my Patreon, it is the first link in the description. Also, I have new affiliate links which are also in the description and all of those things work together and help support me make these videos. So thanks so much for listening to this quick little message. Now back to the video. <laughs> Ooh, so we have some oxalis. These are really pretty ones too. Look, they're going down a little bit. And these are only selling for $4. I believe right now we're on the annuals floor. I should know though. <laughs> so these aren't plants that are like traditionally inside house plants. These are plants that are like, you can keep them outside or inside. It's like kind of up to you. Look at all this jasmine, it's already bloomed but it's still really pretty. We got this massive colocasia. This thing has been growing here since before I worked here last year. We have some African violets, $4. Ooh, look at that one. I actually really like that. I'm gonna keep that one in mind. I'm waiting for them to get in some some freaking alocasia. It's like almost time. They've already brought out the bananas. Also begonia, waiting for them to bring out more begonia. It's not as warm in here today as I thought it would be. They like purposefully did not wear a coat. Well, here's what the rest of the annuals floor looks like. And I do have a hard time remembering the difference between annuals and perennials. I'm pretty sure annuals is like plants that come back every year and perennial is something that is always, always around. So, super pretty. The closer we get to like summer too, this greenhouse just gets so much better. Like, I think peak, peak time last year was, I think June and July. So this is what the little flowers look like when they're done being flowers. <laughs> Ooh, they got one of my favorite plants in. I can't really bend down because my knees are all messed up right now, but the vinca vines are so amazing. I like them in white, are my favorite. Some more up here. These little variegated leaves with yellow. So pretty. And let's be real guys, anything's a house plant if you grow it inside. <laughs> we can start off with the cactus and succulent section today. We have some fun aloes. So this is a weird Haworthia. I wish I knew what it was called. It doesn't really show um, its name. This one is pink. A pink variety. And over here we have some different Echeveria and they are very interesting. They're a little bit of a different shape than what I'm used to seeing. Topsy-turvy, cute. They're super blue which is what we like. And then we have some porcupine agave. Super pretty. And so these are some different other kinds of agave. I don't know their kind. I'm sorry, I can't tell you what they are called, but they're pretty. I think these are little agaves. Gypsophila. I like this one. That's cute. Got our little cactus table right here. Got a lithop coming out with another lithop, which is always fun to see. I, you know, I've, I've always liked lithops, but I don't think I've ever been interested in actually owning one. Check this beast out right here. Look at that. That thing is crazy. I don't even know what that is. Probably some kind of issue area. And over here, we have a couple of potted ones. This little guy's only $15. He's about to put out some flower frames. I always love seeing these cement planters. It looks like some of the other ones have sold though. Wow, look at that. I don't know what kind of aloe this is. Aloe variegata hybrid. Cute. Looks really nice. I like this one. Whatever this guy is, I love him. He round. Look at that. <laughs> Got some string of dolphins is still here. I think this plant has been here for a while. They should probably consider dropping the price down from $60. Uh, we have one Euphorbia Amakla. You could literally buy this for $60 or you could buy this for $60. <laughs> this crown of thorns is also super pretty with the stress colors. 
This is where they put vinca vine last time. All of that is vinca vine. I also love this succulent. What are you? Brephylum fetchkinkoi. Fetchkinkoi. Cute. I really like it. It reminds me of eucalyptus. We got a couple different variegated jades here. Look at that. So pretty. Look at how pretty all of these are. All of these are only four dollars. <laughs> Clethia Ornata, $15. They must have gotten new plants in because this was not here the last time I was here. I'll carry this with me and we'll take it back to the house plant section together. Here's a couple more succulents. I don't know the names of all of them. It looks to me just like some more Echeveria, Happy Bean, Jade. Wow, that is so pink. So the last time I was here, this whole area was just empty but they're growing a bunch of starters now. So I wanna go look around in the little house plant spot. I'm a little interested in these plants. This is so pretty. Look at how it vines together like that. Thumbergia grandiflora. I really like it. It kind of looks like a piper, but like not. Like if a piper and a medrium had a baby. I like this foliage too. These are not inside plants, but they're certainly cute. Ooh, look at these. Look at that. That is so cute. These are called Dutchman's Pipe. And then on the other side over here, there's a different couple of begonia species growing, but they're not ready yet, so we'll leave them alone. Seriously, look at how that vines. Look at that. That is so cool. Here it looks like they're watering a bunch of the oxalis that need to be watered. Wow, look how far that goes down. That's not even wide angle. You wanna see that in wide? That's wide. <laughs> That's normal, <laughs> crazy. And then African violets. This is where these guys are growing. All the way down there. <laughs> Ooh, begonias. They got a lot of begonias in. What are you, begonia pegasus? Ooh, cute. Let's take a look. Oh, this is the one I have. I want to buy it again. Look at how pretty that is. These are a couple hybrids. I wonder if it says, it's just angel wing begonia. Oh, torch. These ones are Sophia, this species. This also has a lot of the red on the underside. I really like this one. I don't know why, because I don't necessarily like the color. It's just so adorable. Look at that little green leaf. <laughs> so these are tuberous begonias. Oh, but look at how sparkly he is. Can you guys see the shimmer? Oh, they're like sparkly. Can you see? So cute. Ooh, I like that one. Wow. They got a big load in at some point. Right there. All right, shall I show you guys around? Let's start where we always start. There's some really nice plants here. Whoa, we are missing. There used to be a whole stand right here. <laughs> that threw me off so hard. So let's start out with some Adansonii. Super, super beautiful. I actually prefer Edward's Adansonii over some of the other places in town, just because it's always, the narrow form holes are always just so nice. And I don't know how they're growing them to make make them just so delicate looking, but they just do. $22 for this. And then we have some peace lilies, so Spathophyllum haley. Super nice. Not, I'm not a 
peacefully fan, but I understand the appeal. Then just like a bunch of Rifidophora tetrasperma. Boise must have gotten its fill of it because literally even a month ago this would not just be sitting here. So I keep waiting for them to bring that decursiva back in because I know they got it at some point. They grew two of them. There's no way there's only two. Each of these are $36. And this white stuff that you're seeing is just like sediment from the water that they water it with. Then we have Monstera Deliciosa in mature form. Each of these are only $18. I don't see splits. So probably only a couple more leaves out before they'll all start putting some splits out, but super good. These are all really high quality. The leaves are coming like in this nice green color. On my right, we have some orchids. Edwards always has really nice orchids and they're always the least expensive. Unfortunately, I cannot find a price. Oh, $15, yeah, for these big orchids that are like 20 or $30 at Home Depot. So these are really nice. I love this yellow one. That's like my favorite color right now is that yellow. Then we have some Stromanthi Trio Star. It looks like they're selling out. A while ago, this whole area used to just be Stromanthi for $25. And I believe their bigger sizes are, oh no, they have a couple of these little ones. They're just big freaking plants in these little pots. I can't find a price. It's a big pot. It's like a gallon pot. Wow, that's a pretty picture right there. So nice. Here we have a bunch of black cardinal philodendron. These little ones are $33, and these big ones are $45. Then over here, we have Macaulay's Finale. Ooh, guys, this is a special treat. So this is Zamia Colchis, Zamia Folia, Zenzi. They come in, it's a completely different type of ZZ plant. Whereas these leaves kind of come out taller and longer and they're just more open. This is a compact version of ZZ. I've actually never seen this in person before. $38 for these, $26 for these, and $14 for those ones. Yeah, but that's really cool. I've never seen those in person before. They look really nice on camera, wow. They look like they unfold the same, but then it just kind of is like they always stop unfolding and then they just stay like that forever. Over here, we have some Monstera Deliciosa for $48. These are pretty established plants if you take a look at the, the bottom of the pots. And some of the tops even have mid-spine fenestrations. So you're getting really good plants for that. The new leaves look very nice. Super nice. And then some Anthurium. I love that leaf. That is so beautiful. Wow. And then some uh, Spathophyllum domino. This used to be a rarity here in Boise, but now it's freaking everywhere because it lowers the price. <laughs> All right, in Jenna Marble's words, welcome to the Hoya section. <laughs> All of these are just Hoyas. Uh, starting here, these are uh, Crimson Queens. Looks like they got some serious red growth coming in. These are like $33. Super, look at how white that is, dude. So pretty. These are just Hoya Carnosa. $33 for this. Looks Crimson Queen, interesting. The leaf is just super like veiny. Like, can you see the vein on that? Interesting. Then, I believe we have, this is Hoya Wayetii. Super pretty, I love it because it's like less green on the inside, like a lighter green version. And then you have this kind of tracing on the outside. This pot is only $12, which is an incredible price. Then we have Hoya Shepardii. Oh, Kentiana. Yeah, I'm bad with Shepardii versus Kentiana, sorry. Uh, $12. The bigger pots are $33 and $33. So it looks like Edwards is pricing right now based on pot size, which is super nice. Then some Hoya Carnosa Compacta. This also used to be really hard to find in Boise, but now you can pretty much, you can find it in a lot of places. Edwards always has the most and the better quality ones from what I've seen, but that's also because they grow them themselves, so. It's hard to not have the best product when you, you know, when you grow it yourself. Then right here, we have some goldfish plant. This is the light form of the goldfish plant, and these are pretty substantial pots. 
These are going for $18. And then coming over here, some more Zenzi ZZs. <laughs> That's so hard to say. Um, Prince of Orange, this is a Begonia Hybrid. Torch for $6 that new leaf. Look at this little front display. Then over here, we have a bunch of terrarium plants. So I think columnias. This is a baby ficus benjamina. What the heck? Then some petonias, peperomia orba. Aluminum plant, more orba. This is a fern. Some syngoniums, palms, ivies. This is a fun fern. That one. Some waffle plants. Those are so nice. Ooh, selaginella. Hello. How pretty. I love the detail on this moss. Pilea Moon Valley. This plant exploded, like was super popular for only like two or three months or so. And now it's not that popular anymore, but these guys are only $4, which is such a good price. These are friendship plants. Uh, but these are more pink than I remember. They actually look really nice. I feel like they're normally like a hard brown color. Then some Schifleras, like some variegated ones. Got some Crotons. Oh, these are cute. Is this another autumn fern that I'm gonna regret not buying? I think it is. Five dollars though. I'll just wait till I find it at Home Depot again and then I'll put it on my Home Depot card. Then we have these staghorn ferns, which I just bought one. I love it. Then we have our pothos. So this is pothos aurea and then lemon lime pothos. And then philodendron brazil. Let's see. Nine dollars for a four inch. These are really full four inches though. Really nice pots. Then a bunch of neon pothos. Again, super full for only eight dollars. And some baskets. Wow, that looks so pretty. <laughs> Over here, we have a bunch of Pilea. So this is Pilea peperomioides. They're selling these for $28 in the big pots. And, oh boy. Oh boy. No price on the four inch pots. Then we have Peperomia red stem. These are $8. I like these because they looked really hardy and tactile. Rubita, I believe, or grape. It's hard to remember. Then we just have a heck ton of the Calathea White Fusion, which look like they're having a hard time right now, but they always have a hard time. It's not Edward's fault. They just always have a hard time. Then we have some Maranta Lucanura, $4. And then some Medallion Calathea. I remember the first time I saw these here, I lost my mind. $28. Some Macayana, which I just talked about in yesterday's video, $15. I'm just, I've been doing really good not buying plants right now, and so the second I start to buy them again, I'm just gonna lose all my money. I just love it though, that detail on the leaves is so incredible. Oh, so nice, dude. We're not a. And then, this is amazing, this is Calathea Beauty Star, which is like the Ornata, but it's got different colors on it. $24 for those. This one's nice. This looks like a white fusion that just never put out any white. Calathea 6 inch, $27. I'm pretty sure that's a white fusion that just never put out white. Because if we look over here, that's what these leaves look like that are coming out of the Calathea that don't have the variegation. Yeah, wow, they're just all so beautiful. I really I really like these kinds of Calathea. I like the Beauty Star, I like the Ornata, and I like the Makoyana. I am not good with the Medallion ones. I'm not good with the fuzzy ones. These are fuzzy, by the way. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but they have fuzz on them. And then this one a friend gave me, and it didn't do well, Concina. Calathea Concina. I never knew its name before. 
does it say for these ones? Ten dollars. Calathea Amagris. Amagris. It's good that they're finally putting names on stuff. They used to not do names. I really like this. Ugh. I don't need more plants though right now. I can always buy more plants later. Look at that though. Is that not just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Oh my gosh. And I love how green the new... Oh, should I just do it? No, they're too expensive. Like this is not an expensive plant, but my budget, you guys, you don't even know is so low right now. But it's so nice. I'm not going to do it. I'm not gonna do it. All right, zebra plants. These guys are $15. And then here's this aisle's end cap. We do have a Aglionema right here, another Medallion Calathea. This is a Sansevieria, some Staghorns. Ooh, a Pepperoni Ginny. And then a Jade plant. It's a really nice one for $21, this whole thing. That's a really good deal. And then beautiful freaking princess. How much? $30? Yeah. So nice. It makes me want to cry. Look, it's putting out a new leaf right there. I love it so much. Ooh, we have a rattlesnake Calathea. Ooh, check this out. These are small ficus Audrey's. Ooh, I love the bottom of Audrey leaves. They're always so fuzzy. I don't think I've ever seen a small for sale before. That's so cool. Edwards is freaking killing it this spring and it's not even spring yet. A small uh, ficus lorata compacta. Got some overwatering happening. When this happens on your ficus leaves, it means it's been overwatered, but it's fine. This is the Dracaena Isle. All of these grasses right here are $9 over there. And then these are $25. This is variegated yucca. I don't know where it's variegated or how you'd tell. But it says that it is for $18. Ficus Benjamina Variegata. And then regular one. These money trees are $28 for the bigger pots and $14 for the smaller pots. And some Adansonii baskets. Um, I wonder if you can see. These are $36 baskets. Oh, you can't even see that. We'll just look at this one. We do have some Peperomia obovata variegata. Or is it ovata? Nope, doesn't say. <laughs> and then Ginny's. Hello, nice to meet you. And then some bigger ones. These ones say? Marble. That's not all we wanted to know. Nice. Cute. And that is the houseplant section today. Well guys, that is all for today's tour. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to leave a like, please subscribe, please support me on Patreon if you feel like being generous. You can donate either $1, $3, $5, $10, or $20 a month based on the benefits you want to unlock for donating. You can also check out my affiliate links in the description in case you're running low on some house plant supplies and feel like supporting my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Thank you so much for your support. I'm completely blown away by the amount of support we've gotten just over Patreon. Technically the greenhouse is closed, so like I need to leave, but I'm gonna thank my patrons first. Thank you so much to my Patreons, Abby Miller, Plant with Casey, Cody Fondren, Christopher Savory, Karen Rochelle, Caitlin Holmes, Anna Davidson, Euphemius, Elizabeth Vasquez, Sarah My Slywe, Kendall Berkowitz, Nat and Cat, Charlotta Roses, Planty Spice, and Carly Amberson. Thank you guys so much. We have effectively doubled the amount of Patreon since yesterday. If you feel like you want to support me on Patreon, there's some other people who are already doing it. There's an amazing, we've got a tight-knit little community of 15 patrons. So yeah, make sure you think about it if you want to. And if you don't want to, that's totally fine. You can still be a real one, even if you don't support me on Patreon. All being a real one means is that you support me on YouTube, you subscribe, and you are an active an active subscriber those are the real ones who watch all the way to the end of these videos to get to these messages but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this houseplant tour i had so much fun coming to edwards i always love coming here i used to work here so it's nice to you know it's nice to be home so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next houseplant